yeah, okay, we're going to get pretty complicated today. Well, complicated just in comparison to what we've been doing so far. Going to look at some methods for... Uh, for um, mm, oh, some complicated stuff um, for targeting. So let's just say that for now. We're going to look at targeting again, and we're going to look at choosing uh, images for drop shipping and just a few other cool things. Okay, so let me go into the managers. Okay, I want to show you something here. So I let's just start with a recap of what's happened. Nothing, nothing much, you know. I've started to just do this uh, yoga store visits thing. It's just uh, running a carousel. I mean, we can take a look at the ad thing that I'm running just to keep you up to date, you know. Um, by the way, I, I figured out how to view the ads, so we can do it like that. So you, do, you go up here, and then you go to page posts. There'll be a couple of tip, tips here, actually. And then you can view it, because for a long time, I was like, how the hell do I actually see the ads? Uh, and once you get here, you actually have to choose ads posts and then you get these ads and I'll show you one other cool trick uh, Just say You got some likes on a post or something You open up this You go to the post itself uh, Then you scroll down and click on the people who actually liked it and here uh, I mean, some will say liked, but what it's talking about is like whether they liked your page. So I don't know how it works, but apparently they can like your post, but not your page. So you can go through and see these ones that click invited. That's because there was an option that said invite and I clicked in invite. So now it says invited. So all the people that each time you run an ad after you complete it or whatever, or a few days after just within, you know, within a few days of actually, you know, the people doing the like, um, you want to go in and invite them to like your page and it's not just that you'll get a like <laughs> It's also that like a second hit of like memory like and to, to To that person's brain about your page Okay, so there's a cool tip um, And I was going to show you the actual things Just to give you a refresher uh, where are these I don't know nothing beats right? Yeah, so I'm running this, uh, and not, you know, just like, uh, it's definitely not going to be a profitable campaign or anything like that. Don't worry about that. Um, it's just got a few clicks here and there, like four clicks at 76, you know, cents per click. So I'll, uh, if anything interesting happens there, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, one interesting did thing did happen is that I'd set it up wrong initially. Like I'd set it for like a maximum bid of 50 cents. And I was like choosing to optimize for link clicks and it was just stagnant. Like I wasn't getting any impressions at all. So I took off the, uh, the bid limiter. So it's like unlimited. Um, and I set it to optimize for impressions, but you know, I'm just interested in seeing how that goes. Okay. Now I want to teach you something else. So I've heard from a private forum that Say you want to set up, um, say you want to set up some sort of campaign, like drive traffic to dropshipping or something like that. Um, you want to make sure you got the right, right image, right? You want to make sure you got the image that's the most shareable, the most engageable or engaging or something like that. So how do you do that? How do you make sure before you do the actual campaign and start pushing out money that you've chosen a good image well I'll show you a recommended way although just when I set up this campaign I'm actually gonna set it up just as an engagement campaign you can take the principle uh, like I'm just not ready to, to run a, a clicks campaign right now so I'm gonna take the time to set up this as an engagement campaign but you will understand the principle of what's going on all right so I'm gonna go new campaign start over uh, I'm gonna do engagement this is appropriate for clicks as well so I'm gonna call this um I'm gonna call this boxing engagement okay boxing engagement uh, and I can optimize that for page likes let's say but it's 
just this is not relevant it's just the technique is what's relevant so I'm going to choose Internet School of Movement so I'm going to come back up here later so I'm going to target United States I'm just going to target men 25 plus no big deal yep to 65 plus men and let's delete off all this okay so let's just uh, do it to um let's do our audience thing first so I'm gonna do a boxing one just because it's like the, at the top of my mind and we can just do do boxing do audience insights however the thing I've got in mind is I'm gonna do a Mike Tyson ad so I might, might just run it to people who like Mike Tyson so let's just go men right 25 plus I don't know if she's an Annie or 65 plus is any different I think it's the same so let's go um, Mike Tyson and so that's plenty of people let's just run it to men who like Mike Tyson so we can even go more specific um, you know I'm getting a bit faster at this right so page likes we can take it take a look at what these people like um, yeah, so here's Tyson. Sometimes I like to look here and see if there's anything that like, you know, I can go here and just open up. I can search like this, Mike Tyson. Because at the moment, what's my affinity? Like 231, that's pretty high. But sometimes you just want to check, can I get any higher affinity? I mean, I could type, like if someone likes Iron Mike Tyson, doesn't matter it's good enough so we're gonna go with Mike Tyson right so I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna say yeah I want these men who like Mike Tyson oh shit sorry I always think it must be funny to be like watching me do this and just watching me make the mistake come on where is the goddamn interest targeting here See, like these would probably be more targeted. Punch out, right? Nice game. Um, so I'm gonna do edit placements because, like, I don't know, all these placements are just ridiculous. I mean, what's going on with this? Like, why can't I choose anything but Facebook? That, that's all I want anyway. But I just don't know why I can't choose anything else. Okay. Probably because it's an engagement. Okay, so I'm just going to put five euros again. Um, but I may run it for a total of two days. And I'm just going to set that to start around, I don't know, on... Yeah, I'll set this one first, like the 15th. I'm going to set this one to run from the 13th. July 15, July 13, July 15, good. Yep, go 5.18, so... It's a bit in the future. Five euros a day. Cool. Show advanced options just to remember what these are. Optimization for delivery page likes. Cool. Get charged for impression. Yeah, that seems fine, you know. Okay, so we're going to continue. Haven't not seen anything just new yet, but now we're at now we're at um the ad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um. Does it work? Does this work? I'll just go to Instagram.com and like, how, how does it work? Or do I need to, okay, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go to Google. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get one Mike Tyson photo. This is for the first thing I'm gonna teach you. So what do I like here? What's a good one? Hmm. 
That one in the middle at the top's kind of cool. It's not as too small though, you know. Tools, size, let's make it at least medium. Now let's make it at least large, right? Like, let's make it at least that big. Okay. What do I like here? <laughs> Probably doesn't matter that much, but I don't know. I like Mike Tyson. Oh, this one here is pretty cool. That one there is nice. Let's get that one. That one's sick. Uh, sometimes when it's from Pinterest, like you can't get it. Save image as. Let's just make sure that we didn't get a thumbnail. You gotta be careful, you know. Um, where'd it go? Here. You can check it like this, like properties. Uh, details. Yep, yep, yep. So we got the full image. Good. So, let's come back here. Here. And we're gonna go single image. Um, add more images. Got our Mark, Mark Tyson here. Cross this off. So we only want to play this one, right? Um, well, that looks terrible. So, what's the deal with that? Is that literally how it's going to look? Like, I don't understand why it looks like that. Recommended image size. Okay, so tell you what, it says to make it like this. So, sorry, this episode's a little slow so far, but we're going somewhere, don't worry. I don't know, I'm not going to be able to copy paste that. So I'm going to go exactly and choose it like this, right? 1, 1200 by 444. Cool. Really? It's so confusing. Like, ser are you serious? Like, that's the image you want, hey? That's the size you want. I just don't get why it doesn't make it bigger. Okay, it's okay. Just gotta get something kind of horizontal, you know? Like this, maybe? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, let's go back here. Cross off that one. Where'd that go? Here we go. So, cool. Okay, let's put something fun like that, right? Um, now, where's it talking about? I don't know what that is. Okay. Sweet. So we're just going to do a post like that. Okay. Really easy. Confirm. Your audience is missing a location. Okay, well, awesome. 
no worries. So let's rename this. Um, this is a Iron Mike punching. Isn't that like Holyfield? I think. <laughs> I mean, I, th I don't really care about. But that is definitely Holyfield, right? Like I don't really follow that many other boxes. I just have my favorites. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna put a Holyfield. I'm sorry, Evander. Yep, pretty sure. Not retarded, am I? Okay, cool. So, good. All right, Iron Mark punching event, event Holy Holyfield. Good. Now we need to go back to the ad set. It's cool. You can kind of navigate over the left here, and let's call this. We want uh, U.S. men, 25 plus likes uh, Mike Tyson. I mean, we don't need to say likes Mike Tyson, it's pretty obvious. Okay, so, there you go. Continue, go to through to the ad, right? Need to add a location, oh, Jesus. I didn't do that. Um, so, uh, So add, confirm, right? So the magic's coming in a moment. All right, so we got this new campaign called Boxing Engagement. So we can go into that. Like this. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate this. Okay. And what we're going to do, this is called like pool two, right? Okay, no worries. Um, I don't get what it's trying to do right here. So that one's called pool two. Let's uh, name this one pool one. So I'm going to explain to you what a pool is in a moment. Can I just edit the name? Like, edit age, edit name. So I don't have to go into that whole big thing. Okay. Fuck, did I do it right? I think so. Publish, right? So now we've got three pools, right? And the reason for that is, um, I wonder if I can just do this via Google. Facebook audience pools. Okay. So... When you, when you think about this like this audience here, right? It's like men over 25 who like Mike Tyson. What Facebook does when you create an ad set here is it, it's not like you're just like spitting off these impressions to like randomly throughout the whole of the audience. That's not how it works. It creates a pool. So it creates a little subset, right? Um, so say you've got like a rectangle here. Just imagine, all right, and that rectangle symbolizes the entirety of the audience, right? And then there's these little circles inside the rectangle, like that. There's all these pools, right? So each of these each of these here is a unique pool, ideally. Um, now, we're going to test something here. Um, it may actually be possible to do something like this, uh, to check the overlap. Um, so if I go... If I, can I save this? Split audiences. Save audience, right? Like, of which one? What's it doing? 
Yeah, right. So now I've got this, uh, it's literally a saved audience, okay? So let me go back, I'm gonna save both of them. Save the audience. So now I got the three pools. You'll see what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm gonna save that audience as well. Did I screw up? I see two and three. Okay, so I got a one, one, two, three. Okay, so let's delete this one. Delete. So now I've got these audiences, right? So what I can do here is if I go click, 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 uh, I can get actions, show audience overlap. I, I don't know what this is gonna do, I just heard about it. Okay, it didn't work as I expected. Um, that's fine, so yeah, it's, it's 100, like I, I it's because the targeting is the same. It's not didn't doesn't work how I expected it to. It doesn't report how I expected it to. It doesn't tell you about the pools. That's not what it does. But like, um, say I I will show you something else there. Uh, I'll create another audience. So I'll go here, and instead of uh, doing Mike Tyson, I'll go Evander Holyfield. Okay. Uh, there's not as many people there, so let's go someone uh, more relevant, like um, who's a you know Muhammad Ali. Okay, that's a good one. Can I save this audience? Okay, so I'm going to save that audience. It's uh, Man United States. It's the same thing. So save. Uh, U.S. Man 25 plus Muhammad. Muhammad, 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 I don't know, is it E, Muhammad, I, I really don't know, doesn't matter, okay, Muhammad Ali, yep, got the spelling right, that's good, so now let's go back to um, audiences, so if we choose Muhammad Ali, and this Mike Tyson one, and go actions show audience overlap. Now you'll see, okay, this is how much your audience overlaps. So this is important because if you're running ads targeting, you know, like similar targeting, you're going to get this overlap and you're going to show your ads to the same audience, okay? Like imagine you're running two ad sets to like do just different targeting. You're like, I'm going to compare this targeting to that targeting and see which one's better, right? But then you target you know, the same audience, like, oh, is it better to go after Muhammad Ali fans or Mah or Mike Tyson fans? But there's a 40% overlap of the audience. Okay, so you want to, um, you want to avoid that. And I'm not 100% sure, but it may be possible to do some sort of, like, delete overlap or something, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, so we found out, I showed you that. Now let's go back to what we're doing. Um, back to the ads manager. Okay, over here. So, we got these three balls, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna duplicate this ad, this identical ad. Okay, fine. And then we're gonna duplicate it again Publish. And I think I might be able to go like this, duplicate uh, existing ad set. So what am I in right now? Uh, if I change it to, if I change this to pool one and do two copies, Go like that, duplicate. Let's see how I did there. Let's 
I reckon this, this whole system is so freaking clunky. Get your act together. God, what, what is this? <laughs> How did that happen? Completely wrong. Um, hold on. But see, the, the thing that's like confusing is that suddenly it's like, oh, now there's two ad sets selected and you don't notice. And you're like, oh, wait, is this right? So let's get out of here. Go back up to the ad sets. Let's just go into number three. Okay, so number three has three. Now let's go into number one. It has three. Uh, it doesn't matter what the names are here. Copy three, copy three. I mean, it's just not important. It's going to be so easy to find out. Later, let's go into this one. And let's duplicate. Let's just do a quick duplicate. Publish. And then let's duplicate it again. Okay. So, this seems like a total redundancy, right? Because we've got three ad sets, and inside that, inside each ad set, we've got three identical copies. So we've got three identical ad sets, and in each side, inside each ad set, there's three identical ads. Right? It's the, for a total of nine, three by three. Um, we've got a total. We've got a budget of 15 euros total for the day. Um, I mean, if you still only want to sp spend five euros, you just cut it off early. No problem. Okay, so why do you do this? Well, apparently. Uh, you, you never know, but the pools work. Some sometimes the pools work better, sometimes they don't, um, and sometimes the ads work better. So I don't know about that yet, but I'm going to test it. That's what this is all about. Like in the beginning, you don't know how it works. You might think you know how it works, but you don't. All right. So some people say that this is some good method in some private forum. Try it out and see what happens. So you keep watching these videos. You're going to see. Um, you're going to see. Um, what the actual truth is. So I'm going to show you a different method. Now we're going to go back to we're st we're going to do another boxing engagement one, but this time we're going to take uh, advantage of like um, running different uh, creatives to see just which one works the best. Like <sighs> different images and different texts will perform differently for you and you, you really don't know what it is like you can look at look at a picture and you'd be like oh how viral will that be oh, i don't know but the only way to truly know which one's more viral than another is to is to test it so we're going to stay in we're, gonna, we're doing boxing engagement that's still true but what we're going to do is we're going to go create a new ad set and um, we're still going to target, well, let's target people this time who like Muhammad Ali, right? Um, so we're going to go US men, 25 plus, uh, Muhammad Ali. Okay. So Facebook page, Internet School of Movement. Man, this thing's a genius, isn't it? It just keeps telling me, why don't you advertise to this audience that you never advertise to? Twenty-five men. Okay, uh, let's get this this tucked away thing here. So we're going to advertise the United States, and we are going to find this thing here, Muhammad Ali. There you are. Okay, edit placements. I mean, it's just Facebook again. Cool, 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 cool. Looks good, looks good. Budget, we're going to do five years again. And for this one, you know, let's uh, let's let this un end on the 17th. And let's start this up on the 15th. Just like that. And showing... I must have clicked it. I think it was fine anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to load up a stack of images. Like, I, I don't know how many you can do. Like, is it six? Is it nine? But... OK. 
can we go like um tools like shape or something like that shoulders settings i don't think it's settings size I wish you could choose like just the ratio that you're looking for, you know? Uh, anyway, uh, let's go larger than this. So let's um, get this one. I don't know if you need to click click. I, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out if I right click here and go save image as, what do I get? Yeah, I get some thumb. So if I click here though, and I right click save image as, then I get the right thing. Okay, so I'm just going to get a bunch of Muhammad Ali ones here. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's awesome. That's when he got hit. They, he, he got hit really hard, and you can, you can just see his, his face is like, man, he got some power. Okay, so save image. I'm going to get nine. Get this one. Looks pretty good. <laughs> this one looks good. I think I got four so far. This one looks good. Do we already get this one? Yeah, yeah, we already got the black and white. Yeah, so that's a good test, right? Let's get a color version of that. You know, what we're doing right now is we're, we're not trying to make money. We're just trying to, um, we're just trying to see what happens when you put these images in a campaign, in a, in an ad set altogether and, and that. Did we already get this one? I think maybe we did. So can we get like a, what do we reckon here? This one's pretty good. This one's good. Maybe just two more. Let's get this one. And one more. How about this one? Okay, so let's go back over here, and let's go upload images. So we're going to get that one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Are there any more in the middle? Let's get that one, that one. We've got heaps more than nine. Why don't you stop me? Okay, so there you go. So let's get these. Uh, let's find out how many you can actually have. So let's write this. Um, what's that guy who's um? What's the guy who's um Joshua something? Anthony Joshua, right? Anthony Joshua. So let's try uh, no worries. It's very basic. So okay, so too small. 
What happened here? I don't know, let's choose them one by one. I guess it got one error and then it just couldn't do it. So let's get this one. Stuck down the bottom. Um, this one. This one. Did we get this one? Yep. Did we get this one? Just, I don't want to get duplicates, you know. So there's that. No, I think that's new. Okay. What's what's wrong with this? You can reach many more people by greatly reducing the amount of text. So, okay. Smart, smart one. What, what do you want from me? Oh, six must be the limit. Right. Anyway, we'll just get one that doesn't have a warning. Because if it thinks it has lots of text, then it might as well have a lot of text. Okay, so we got one, two, three. So we got six, right? So we got the same text. So you might want to think to yourself, like, what is going to do the best? <laughs> do it like that. So now we have learned the skill of running six images at once to find out which one is just just gets more engagement because if you want the reason the reason this is so valuable is because if you want to run a highly profitable like dropshipping campaign or something that's actually you know cost per conversion like pay on conversion cost per acquisition whatever then you are going to be way better if like it just naturally gets shared and commented because it's obvious <laughs> okay so you have to learn the skill of like either just having a good eye for it and knowing which one's going to be viral which is unlikely or you have to be good at you know doing these quick tests to find out what's uh what's um appropriate so what's the thing that it wants here i mean what does it want from me so let's name this um muhammad ali six picks review Uh, I don't, I don't know. It's so weird, Facebook editor. Sometimes, like, it's, I've never even seen it work like that. It was like review. What was like? What happened to the publish thing? Okay, now we're at the publish thing. <laughs> All right then. Yes, publish. Unable to publish. You are trying to publish a fragment twice. Like, I don't know. These guys are a billion dollar company and this thing is their revenue generator. And it's just, it's like it was designed by a five-year-old child. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, Let's go into this one. Okay, cool. See, our budget is being... Sometimes it tells you you've got an error, and then it's like, oh, wait, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. See, everything's fine. Okay. So now we've got a few things coming up. Ads. What is this? Ad set for ad B. Like, what campaign are we in? Ads. set. Oh, the, the, oh that, that see it's so weird sometimes like you're like hold on what am I in right now that's why you need to cl you need to specify specifically what can otherwise you get so confused 
You get so, so confused. You always got to take really careful note of what's going on up here. Otherwise, you're like, wait, huh? What? I thought I put this in that campaign. Huh? So we got our, we got this thing here. These are going to run um, all together. And we're going to figure out what pool is better. We're going to learn this concept of different pools and how different pools can perform better and how different ads, even to, even though they're the same ads, can just perform differently for God knows what reason. Um, I think it's just because it's probably pooling at a, at a sub level. Like once you, once you go into the ad level, it's pooled again. So it's three sub pools and then three sub sub pools in each of those three sub pools. If you can follow what I'm talking about there. Okay. So I want to show you something else. Um, I found this website called Oberlo. So you can find products to drop ship, right? And you can add it to Shopify super easily. So you just click that and it takes you into your Shopify account, um, gets you to log into that if you haven't done it already. And it installs the app. You just have to click one more time and it installs the app. So I've already got it, right? Over below. I've got this one here, Facebook product feed. I don't know what it is yet. Uh, over below. Uh, so you can basically search for things here. So for example, say I went sports and entertainment. I can then say selling to United States. Uh, like you can't just search for nothing. You have to choose a category if you want to use these filters here. Um, free shipping. And I just want to find out, like, apply from $30, right? So then you can sort by orders count for quality. And when I saw this, I was like, damn, that's a good one. I'll just try that. So this is pretty cool. This Oberlo, O-B-E-R-L-O, -E just add it to your Shopify account. And then you can, you know, you can find these products that are, like, literally been sold and it's just tells you like okay I'll click on that so the price is 3584 um, the shipping is free uh, I what is the commission I don't know what the commission is maybe that's how much you have to pay for it and then you can pay you can charge whatever I'm not a hundred percent sure yet not how not sure how it works but Look, you've got all these creatives, right? Like it gives you all these creatives. Like this is what you got to work with. So, oh, it's a bit unfortunate that I deleted the ad that we put together. Um, but it doesn't matter, I can explain it to you. Oh, I, I did it wrong anyway, so I'll just explain it to you. How do we go back? <laughs> is that back? I don't think so. What happened? What's going on? So I thought this one was kind of cool just because I saw it and I was like, damn, that's cool. Tactical vest, man. Let's check that out. Uh, like this one. I was like, whoa, tactical vest. That's cool. Um, now, the, you know, this is at the top of like currently being sold like a lot. So, you know, at least it means it's verified that it can sell. But like the competition could be insane. So who knows? But anyway, you got all these pictures. So... What, what I'm thinking is, say you want to like verify that uh, you can do, that you can actually remember, because I, I want to bring you back to what I'm, what motivated this, right? Like power ads by, right? Login. And we go search by keywords, free shipping, sort by running longest. That's just so I can find the exact one I'm talking about. You got this stupid group one here. Show like show original. And the reason I'm so impressed by this one is that you know, these people like got 140,000 likes. So Imagine the free traffic with 140,000 likes. 
43,000 comments and 33.5 thousand shares. Like, it's just insane. It's just, they just hooked this thing up to drop shipping and went derp like that and got all these crazy, crazy shares. So that's why it's like, yeah, you can learn like, um, you know, just to, to write one good ad that, that like, you know, has compelling, it's compelling to click the link, sure, but it matters how many people you can put that ad in front of. Like if the ad has like a 2% click through, which means like for every 100 people sh you show it to, 2% of people click through it, cool, that's like one part of the ad, but the, the virality of the ad is what's responsible for how many people see the ad. So if you just run it and it doesn't get shared, you might get a thousand impressions at a two and a hundred, two percent click through rate. Okay, you get 20 clicks. But if your ad is viral and people are sharing it, then forget that 1,000 impressions. Forget that. Who knows what it's going to be? <laughs> it's going to be ex ex exponentially, like massively, massively larger. So, so massively larger. Uh, and you still get your 2% click through, but this time your impressions are bigger. So forget 20 clicks. You're going to get insane amount of clicks. Okay, so back to this thing. What you want to check is like, you got all these uh, different um, items here, right? And corresponding creatives, like which one here can actually be shared? Like that's very, very important. Like if you're gonna choose a product and there's just no way to create a post for it that can be shared, you might be gonna have a hard time. However, if you can find one that you can just create a post which just people are like, for some reason, God knows why, they share it, then that's pretty good. So what I'm thinking is like, choose, you know, six products, okay? You choose six products, then you put together a, like, I don't know, some sort of image based on the, the creatives that they're supplying you, okay? So six products, and then you remember how we did the um, Muhammad Ali one with six images, okay? So you create six images for the six different products, not not six images each, just one image per product. And then you just run for the text of the ad, you just put something like, I want one of these, exclamation mark, or these look awesome, exclamation mark. And um, I created a, another Facebook page um, just so I can test and learn this. Um, what, do, what do I call it? I mean, this is literally just, um, just for testing. It's like, I'll just run it from this page so it makes sense, like super cool products. And you know, it just makes a lot of sense that some, someone called super cool products is saying, I want one of these and it's just a super cool product. So then you can test those the, those creatives and see if people like them and f see if people share them. And the one that actually it shows that it is potentially capable of getting likes and shares and comments, then you can go, all right, well, let, let's create a cam campaign around this one that's designed to actually get clicks. Okay. Um, it's like, but, but the others, if they like fail or something like that, then you just, you just say, I don't know, you, you maybe you try another way to create, to, to, to do, do the creators, the text and the images to actually get likes and shares. But if you just can't get it, then you just, it's just like, well, I'll just abandon that product. Doesn't matter how cool it is. Doesn't matter, matter how cool the, the landing page is or the copy or how cool the, uh, you know, the pricing or the shipping or any other detail. Like if you can't get a low cost per click, <laughs> which means you know, if you can't get it to be shared, then, you know, you, you really got nowhere to go. You're just depending on something far less powerful, like just your conversion of the ad itself. It's completely, completely weak compared to the ad's ability to get shares because that's free traffic, right? You get free traffic, you can get free sales. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough for today. So see you next time.